You designed this cake. I love what you decided. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Quality Pops. My name is Bart Simpson. Let's get into this video. Now I asked you guys on my Instagram stories what kind of cake you wanted me to create. Did you want an apple pie cake or a blueberry cobbler cake? And you guys picked the cobbler. So I've got a blueberry compote and a raspberry compote that I incorporated into my cake batter as well as some cobbler topping. I've been eating cake scraps for days. It tastes so good with my coffee in the morning. I love the way this cake tastes. Now one of the questions I constantly get is how do I stack these cakes so high without them toppling over? And I just gotta say that. That cake is frozen. So, <laughs> so I freeze all of these cake layers so it helps the icing in between each layer set up fast. That way I don't have to worry about it sliding off. It stays up straight and makes adding the crumb coat extremely easy. Then I pop this in the fridge all of the icing sets and the cakes can defrost. I'm adding my final coat of buttercream and then I'm just going to strain this out with a very, very long cake smoother. After that, it was time to start carving. Now I asked you guys if you wanted this to be a drip cake or a geode cake and you guys chose geode. Good job because it looks really cute. While I was carving this, I had to make sure that the middle parts of this weren't cut in too deep. I needed this to have a lot of stability and usually when I make a geode cake, I would cut into it really deep so I can get more of those gems inside. But with those cakes, I don't have to worry about them falling apart. <laughs> so I'm not gonna do that here. So I've got my icing going in and to make my life easier, I just took a handful of these gems and just pushed them into the cracks. I was gonna put each gem in individually, but oh, I'm too lazy. <laughs> After that, I added fondant. I probably should have put the fondant on before I added the crystals, but I had this idea after and I couldn't go back. So I'm just ripping my fondant away, exposing all of my beautiful crystal work. And after that, I started to add larger crystals just to give this a little bit more depth. Now I'm adding this giant topper of crystals. Then it was time to start painting my cake. Now each section has a main color and two secondary colors. The top section's pink, the middle is purple and the bottom is blue and you guys can't see it because I look so stoic but I actually hated this because it was 102 degrees so I was trying to work as fast as possible and I made the mistake of putting this in the freezer because that meant that when I took it out the fondant would sweat and guess what when I took it out it looked like it just ran a marathon <laughs> but it was the only way I could keep this up straight and you know what I'm so proud of this wet messy baby the gems the these crystals, they all look so beautiful. I wish you could see this up close. I loved this process. I just wish I didn't have to do it in an oven. Boom! Look at you hyping up your cake. This is like my favorite part, just being able to hype up my cake. It's just so much fun to just look at your creation. Look at that baby. Oh, oh, but I caught it. Oh man, I think this is one of the best tasting cakes I've created so far. I love all of these layers. Blueberry cobbler cake. What a great idea. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll be putting up a new story so that we can create another cake together. I love you guys. I'll see you very soon. Bye.